lot of people getting arrested in the crypto space. And um, yeah, the question is why, right? We're in the they fight you phase. And during the they fight you phase, essentially, um, there's going to be some, I guess, friendly fire to some extent from the governments uh, towards you know people in the crypto space. Obviously, uh, guys like Brian Armstrong of Coinbase have made some good friends with JP Morgan, the US government and other things. So they might be a little bit less on the regulatory side versus, you know, people like CZ who they're like, hey, we're going to throw you in for money laundering just because we want to make, well, in my opinion, right, tinfoil hat, we want to make Coinbase larger in America and we want to make them larger globally because they're friendly with the banks, they're fun, friendly with the governments. And now um, we saw this when the Federal Reserve was created, right, um, back in the early 1900s, we saw, you know, with uh, Jekyll Island and, and everything there uh, with JP Morgan that, yeah, governments and uh, bankers, Wall Street, they don't pull punches, right? They will do anything and anything to gain power. Uh, and this industry is what they're trying to gain power over. But just a couple of interesting headlines here, which is Jack Dorsey's block adding, uh, block is the parent company of Cash App, adding more Bitcoin to its balance sheet presents roadmap for others. So the company announced uh, the news alongside its first quarter earnings report. So um, they're going to be basically using 10% of their monthly um, revenue uh, sorry, Bitcoin related gross profit uh, to buy additional Bitcoin for the company itself. Right. So they're kind of doing another Michael Saylor type move. Like, hey, we're going to keep dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin. We're going to use it for company funds. It's like a mix between a Michael Saylor move and an El Salvador move. And then all of a sudden, very soon after that news where Jack Dorsey says, hey, we're going to buy more Bitcoin. Boom. <laughs> the feds come knocking. Right. Uh, federal prosecutors are examining financial transactions at the block owner of cash app and square, basically Jack Dorsey. So internal documents indicate block process trans, uh, crypto transactions for terrorist groups and square process transactions involving nations subject to economic sanctions. I mean, don't tell me this isn't because they put Bitcoin on their balance sheet. I don't know. What do you think? Basically, I mean, they're just coming out. I mean, I think I think they're just going after any pocket of people. I mean, they, I bet you they didn't really like too that you know Jack Dorsey's been putting a lot of money into helping like Bitcoin developers do like mm. something, <laughs> mm, and he sold Twitter. He sold Twitter, and they're not happy about that either as well because like I think they like to have like I think they liked having Jack Dorsey where like they could keep control of him, right? And they, and like all right, he plays ball. Let him be the little cool founder if he wants. Now. We have a founder we can't control. We don't like that. And on top of that, you're helping this Bitcoin thing. And on top mm -hmm. of that, you're you're also controlling supply, which we don't like. Because, right. You know, they're trying to they're buying as much as they can as well. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to dominate the whole market, miners, everything. I mean, basically, the United States exchanges is, exchanges. Basically, we're just trying to control the whole crypto market on our side. And then we'll allow the financial markets to get in once we're in position. Yeah, because I've used Cash App before and they do plenty of KYC. Like for or, in order for you to use Bitcoin on the app like in order to send it and move it through the wallet, you actually have to KYC most of your account and you actually have to usually connect it with your bank and stuff like this too. So like, I don't know, it seems like the same exact thing there. It's like, cause terrorist groups, right? Same thing as what they did to CZ basically. Um, you can't stop some of this stuff. I mean, look at, you look at traditional banks and they still, they purposely, um, you know, support these types of groups, but then also, uh, there's times that they probably accidentally do as well. So, you know, to be able to say like, Hey, you're going to be able to police hundred percent of your platform all the time. Like, I don't know, but he also probably didn't give them the back door, you know, to, uh, the FBI here. So they're probably just like, yeah, you know, if you didn't play ball, um, then we're coming after you now, 